Hi everyone, my name is Jay. I'm one of the maintainers for the Kiali project, and we are going to do our Sprint 24 6 demo, um, which will showcase some of the new things we've got in version 185, which is scheduled to be released on uh, Monday. So, uh, this is just a little bit of a summary of what's happening um, over the last three weeks. You'll see that, as usual, uh, most of our activities in the main Kiali repo, where we've completed 35 issues and, uh, and or PRs. Uh, but we've got a handful of other work that's done inside of the OpenShift plugin. Um, that we always update our documentation. The operator and the Helm charts have all seen things be touched uh, during the last sprint. So on to a couple of the highlights. Uh, first. Big feature we've got to announce, um, we're going to have uh, for the first time in the new 185 release, is a new mesh topology page. So in the past, uh, we had a very simple page uh, when you press the mesh, when you chose the mesh um, option from the left-hand menu, which just gave you a little bit of a table view, a couple, um, and a little bit of information. We have replaced that now with a more significant uh, and a second topology view. So to complement the traffic view topology, which we've had for ever, um, we now have this one, which is instead of showing you traffic, it is starting to show you your deployment model and let you dig into what's happening. Uh, and to do that, uh, to give you a hands-on view of that, I'm gonna let Fernando uh, take over and perform a demo. So go ahead, Fernando. Thank you, Yay. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Let me know. Can, can you see? I can see you, but I can't see your screen. No? Yes. OK, cool. So, okay, hello everybody. I'm going, <clears throat> I'm going to show you the MESS uh, topology page, the new version. So, um, okay, here you can see the MESS uh, deployment that we have here. It's uh, an example of a multi-primary, um, going to hide it to, to look it better. A multi-primary deployment, so we have uh, two, Kubernetes clusters with two Istio installing each of them uh, with two data planes. Uh, Kiali is installed in one of the uh, clusters and all the services that provide information to Kiali, Prometheus, Grafana and Jaeger are installed externally. So the main benefit of this mess page is just to take as a first sight what is your mess uh, if you have a multi-primary you have a primary mode only you have a single cluster and also information about its uh, piece of, of the mesh so in a generic one uh, we have a summary I mean, uh, all the cluster that we have, in this case, East and West, with the Kubernetes version installed, and the service and the components of each cluster. So the Istio, Kiali, the data planes, or Grafana, Jaeger, Prometheus. So in one place, you have all the versions and all the things that you have installed in your, in your mess, all the infrastructure that you have. Um, then also, you can click on each node and have more detailed information about the cluster, about Istio, the control plane metrics, if you have uh, MTLS enabled or not, the version of the policy, also configuration of uh, Istio, some configuration. The same for Kiali, uh, also the health of, of, of its uh, service. And you can have in one side all the information that you need for every service. Then if you click on the data planes, you have all the namespace that belongs to the data plane. And uh, you have the overview information of each uh, namespace, the same 
it's the same information that we have in in, in overview um, more things uh here in the mess topology in the graph so you can uh, rest the view to fit to the namespace or you can also select different layouts uh, depending on what you want to see and also I mean, it's just uh, you can move it and put it in a better shape to have a better look and uh, also you have the legend with all the node save node colors and all the information that you need to to know uh, what is in the in this uh, graph um the last thing that i want to show is uh, this just is uh, checking all the health uh, connections all the connections between uh, kiali and the rest of the services east Jaeger, prometheus so i'm going to do a, a simulation so what happens when you lose one of your services so i'm going to just uh, shut down for example uh, jagger so we are going to scale down and, and shut down Jagger. And it, when you refresh, oops, I'm gonna, you can see so that when it's refreshed and uh, Key Ali detects that there is uh, Jagger, there is a problem with Jagger. It's just so in red shape with a red line just to show that. Uh, the the jagger is not working fine also you have a danger icon which is unre unreachable uh, the same here in the summary so i mean here you can see if there is a, an issue uh, you can take a look uh, the health status of your of your mess in just uh, one side um that's all from my side hey fernando uh can you quickly just show this page did impact the about box a little bit. So maybe just oh go over there. Here? Yeah, I just was going to point out here that um, what used to show different versions for like the components of Prometheus and so forth, you're now just going to get the Kiali version information here for the instance you're running. And we would defer to the mesh page, and there's a link here um, to get back to it. To be able to see the versions and all that information, um, because you may have multiple instances of those particular components and so forth. So that single view that we used to have in the about box really wasn't not sufficient anymore. So um, that's just a note. Yeah, I'm the same that here in the overview, uh, all the control plane metrics that we had here in the Istio system, we have removed from the overview and just move it to the mess because uh, here now in the review we just saw the the traffic uh, a summary of each namespace okay. all right excellent demo thank you fernando i'll reshare out the presentation all right and uh, one other note about the new mesh page, it's, it is also built into the uh, OpenShift console plugin that we have. So if you're running Istio on OpenShift, you will now be able to get this view as well there. In other news, we've um, enhanced Istio D app metrics, um, which means that if you navigate to the application for Istio itself, uh, the control plane, uh, we wanted to basically show you a bit more information about how your control plane is performing and uh, we've utilized a variety of other metrics that are available and published by Istio uh, and Envoy. And you can just get an idea here. You just navigate there, go to the Istio D metrics tab and you'll be able to see a bunch of new charts that you couldn't get before. That's a nice addition to help with debugging or exploring your uh, your mesh. Other than that, a list of notable changes that, that have gone into or will be coming out um, with version 185. We have the ability to uh, add the DNS policy and config on a Kiali pod uh, via the CR. Uh, we've also complemented um, a feature that we've already got for uh, metrics, but you can do 
uh, HTTP headers can now be pasted to the uh, past the tracing back end. Uh, there's been a tweak to the server Helm charts of using that where we don't create an unnecessary cluster role when we don't need it. In, for ambient, we um, have improved workload detection to make to, to figure out which workloads are actually captured by ambient. We've got a couple things in progress. So we have multiple things in progress. Not everything is listed here, but um, we are working on adding in the Kubernetes Gateway API v11 support. And we are also looking at a continue, we've got a continued multi-sprint effort around performance and scalability. Um, in this sprint, um, which Hike has been leading, he, we've got the ability now to really just run these tests um, on a variety of different uh, configurations of namespaces and so forth. So we're trying to figure out uh, where our scale is and where we can make improvements. And then finally, we continue to work on our automation around um, our release actions on GitHub, try to smooth that process out a little bit. Couple important bug fixes. Um, if you happen to be running multi-cluster, there were a couple glitches in graph generation, traffic graph generation, um, especially if you were trying to use service entries or workload entries. Um, hopefully that is cleared up. In ambient, uh, we had an issue with the Z tunnel logging view. Uh, if you're using multi-node, that should be fixed. Uh, we've got a fix to that console plugin around Istio config list filtering. Um, and we've also been trying to attack some of our CI issues around bug flakes uh, in CI. Uh, looking forward to the next sprint. Uh, some of the things that I just mentioned, uh, we're continuing to work on the performance and scalability work. We're gonna be ramping up a little bit on the ambient support uh, and really just seeing how well we perform using ambient now that Istio 122 is out. In Istio 1.22, ambient became, at least most of ambient became a beta level. So they've kind of made a commitment to those APIs. And now that it's, it's getting to that more stable area, we're gonna, probably in the next two sprints, um, make sure that we are working with Ambient as well as we can at the moment. Uh, and then you may have noticed that the graph look and feel for that mesh graph uh, for the new mesh page is a bit different. It doesn't look like the traffic graph um, because it's using a different topology package called pattern fly topology. Um, there's still a few deltas between pattern fly topology and Cytoscape, which we use for our traffic graph. We're gonna to continue to work on um, seeing if we can fill those gaps a little bit. But hopefully people will start to really uh, like that, the new look and feel for pattern fly because it, it does have a, quite a nice look to it. And as always, you can visit our project board on GitHub, um, Kiali Project 67. I'm not gonna go through these, but you can see the current backlog that we've got on the sprint for the next sprint and keep track of all the progress. All right, that is it for V185 and I will stop the recording. And if anyone's got questions or discussion topics, uh, we can do that off the record. <laughs>